Yes, certainly. Now, I was listening to you that whole time, <laughs> but I caught a whiff of what we're going to get to see next, and that is Trojan versus Inconsider Raccoon. Trojan is doing push-ups on the platform out here. Just staying warm, I guess. It is zero degrees outside here in Illinois in February. Raccoon is not impressed. He's just like, can we can we do this now? Can we make this happen? Many healthy follicles on screen right now, I'll tell you that. Yes, I love both of these players. Trojan is such a baddie. He is such a nice guy, always has so much style. Raccoon, you know, he looks kind of quiet here, but uh, he's got himself quite a personality himself. But in these offline situations, he usually lets the buttons do the talking for him. So yeah, that's what's funny. That. In the short time that I've even known about Inconsiderate Raccoon, I've known that while in live events, mostly lets Tekken do the talking, but online, certainly a lightning rod has had some interactions that have sparked conversation. For sure. Co controversial could be a term that describes him, but his name says it all. Inconsiderate Raccoon. But we see that he's certainly considerate of the buttons that he presses out here and the timing that he uses. And I cannot wait for you all, if you have not gotten the chance to see Trojan play the signature Lily Rushenford, uh, you're in for a treat. Yeah, and I'd like to see a Lily player in this day and age because it's not something you will see that much anymore. It's funny because I feel like she actually isn't at her weakest. She got a buff to the down forward one, which was a classically weak move with a terrible hitbox. Mm -hmm. Her forward four now counter hits. She's actually got some amazing things. The problem is that in just the power creep of the game, yeah. the way those tiers have been stratified, she's fallen a little bit by the wayside. It's kind of the opposite of a Kazumi situation where they've done nothing but shoot her since season one. She's actually been just tweaked in various ways, but everybody else who's been above her has gotten tweaked in net positive ways. She's Whoa! gotten different. Right. <laughs> I, I have to do it. It must be done. Calm yeah, they gave her a too. magic four, but the magic four has to be followed by the jab and it doesn't jail. afterwards, and there it doesn't jail. Right. So if you commit and believe, but you're wrong, then you just don't you get it. You pay the price, right? Mm -hmm. All right. You see it endures and considers that, it was, that's a, that was an amazing change, though. Down one two is now a natural plus on block low string, so it can be ducked and then launched. But I mean, let's be real. Who, who's sniffing out that first low most of the time, right? Not many. Yeah, the plus on, plus on hit that, that one, two, and it does have a follow-up as well. So you're always thinking, even if I did block the first, if I block the second hit, ooh, it could be scary. We see Raccoon using that back tempo. He doesn't use it quite as often. And using the, it, the evasive step as well with the up forward two. That is not safe. That is a wall splatting move, or wall bouncing move, so it would have been great, except you didn't hit with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Connects with the first hit. Sidestepping. No! Ooh, yeah, did not want to take that boot. Those stilettos that Trojan's got on, he don't want none of that on his shoes. Those were high gloss gold finish from the Golden Dragon themselves. <laughs> <laughs> nice, trying to get that counter hit there. Put him to the back. Nice, we're sneaking out, are we? No, wall spot, excellent. Yep, there we go, keeping him on there. But the pushback, but that home move actually sent them in the direction that Raccoon really wanted to go. And now we see all of this great pressure here. Ooh, got him. Nice. Another raise drive getting blocked. But a back dash. Single back dash. That's all you need in, in so many cases. One back dash, see what they do, kill them for it if they whiff. Yeah, obviously, if you want to go pro and you want to see yourself at TWC next year, a good Korean backdash will take you a long way. But to, let's be honest, in Tekken, a single or even just two linked backdashes will get you out of so many bad situations. Oh, Trojan getting a the nice pressure really great right now. On that. Good oh, response. Counter hit. And that's oh! It. Three hits did so much. You took damage from their double, double KO. KO, and you don't want that when the... KO could give the other <laughs> yeah. person the win. Forward four traded in that situation. So interesting. Yeah. I think that I think their button presses may not have been airtight at the same time. Their four one was behind the other. 
Uh, it, it happens every time. You know, you run the math in your head, and you go, well, I'm plus three here, they're four. I mean, I'm going to run the math. I'm going to, it's relative 12 to them, except that that's if you press the button exactly on time. Yeah, yeah. And their hands are shaking. They're on the main stage. They're playing some good Tekken. They're four. Uh, maybe not as clean as you thought it was. I didn't think that would trade. I thought they yeah, would get same. cleanly beat. Yeah. Look how stone cold both of these players are. Trojan really thinking about the stage pick. Yes, Lily has really great options after floor break. When you get a nice, you get a wall combo, slap them down, and then you cartwheel on them. Don't even look at them when you stomp on their faces a couple of times. That's how disrespectful Lily Rochefort it is. You're not good enough to deign with her gaze, <laughs> right, exactly. clearly. I shan't look upon you, but I shall step upon you. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to see something different from Trojan here, I think. Whoa! They consider it Raccoon ready for another heaping helping of damage. Yeah, so down three used to be the low for Lily until she got down one, two, and we really aren't seeing it very often. Yeah, I think it's there. It's it is. There because it is. I like it. In raccoon there's there's three. Too many movement. lows. Yep. I exactly when you say that. Yeah, I think we need to do more lows. You do one, and then they're like, "You want to do that again?" Because you snuck two in there, and the third one was really chancing fate. Good. You could go downstairs. Very nice. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, uh -uh. Dun. Exactly what we were speaking oh! of before. Oh! I know you no was ducking. No follow up. What? It was a weird angle. Like I, like I really thought they were, were going to get a. You could have gone downstairs on with four, four, four. That's true. That's true, absolutely. And I but feel there like a Lily player will know that. I think Trojan was like, dang, that's what I should have done right there. <laughs> right? And he's like, okay, I'm going to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> so I can say I did it. <laughs> yep, yep. That happens a lot when you play games. You're like, this is what I should have done. And then you do it two seconds later, and it's like, but that wasn't the one. Look at all of that. Downstairs. Huge damage. Well, bad wall splat, though. Oh, my God. Bad? Oh, nice. I thought he was. I thought that the Leaning Mountain was going to shoot her out of there, squirt her out. Mm, yeah, the Axis, I don't think, allow that to happen. It does happen with bigger characters. Okay. How many times? It's a it's very important mix-up for the Lily players right here. The Feisty Rabbit is coming to get that carrot on a stick. Where are we going next? Hop kicks, but we dropped the hop kick combo. Hop so kicking nothing, the classic. <laughs> yeah, the classic. Ooh, with the second hit, honestly, I thought that that was going to get the punish. Yeah, that's so weird because there wasn't that much life left. Again, a single forward, forward, four would have sent him downstairs. A little less damage on that wall combo, mm. but then you get another wall combo. Yep. Okay. He's in the down three here to check and consider Raccoon. They're not stopping the lows. They're changing the timing, using different lows to change their timing. He's not worrying about needing to be in range zero. Nice, Raccoon is the one that really wants to be in that close range. And Trojan is like, I think I can poke you yeah. down a little bit and then put these heals right through your ribs. Yes. There you go. And now all that is nice. unscaled damage on those last two hits. And so that all you needed was that last interaction to figure out what you needed. Yeah, so blocking that back turn down four is a pretty, like, I mean, you pretty much have to say, I bet this is coming, therefore I will do the right maneuver to be able to block it. Well, usually the answer is to do nothing. If you stand, if you lay down, you will not get hit by back turn right. down four down in those four situations. Down four does not hit fully grounded, but mm -hmm. if you do any kind of rolling, maneuvering, teching, anything, that then yes, your, your hurt box now is fully f upable. You're, you are correct. You're correct. We're going to Mishima Dojo, a true classic Tekken players stage, if yeah, you ask me. This is, this so is many the stage top, for me. Yeah, yeah, so many top eight state st top eights and memorable moments have happened on this stage. I think it's really I think it's tight that we get a like a the, the tournament stage and it's not like the grid or something. Like, you know, we we have a good like stage people want to be on. Yeah. <laughs> The music's good. The scenery's great. Oh, no punish on the iron shield right there. And nice! Could be so important. Whiffs the dominating heal. Back one. Landing. Got the headbutt. 35. Lean. Oh! Finishes the string. That would have been punishable for the kill, but you know what? It works. There we go. We're seeing a lot of that slide from Trojan to be used as an approach tool. And what I said earlier, maybe not accurate. Trojan really likes this close range situation right there. 
huge counter hit, four forward four, and Trojan is one this round is away. This is fast as hell. This is really fast. That was an 11 second round. Yeah, and now Raccoon trying to go and catch him with the Iron Palm. It is jab punishable. Trojan is taking advantage of it, and we shall see what Raccoon's gonna do. He loves that jab. Iron Shield, as we say. Let us go. No, oh, nice. Raccoon is just ready to get out of there. Trojan has said, I think I'm gonna delay my timing a little bit. Catch you, counter hit, no stepping for you. Didn't break. Didn't break the grab. 28 seconds remaining. Doesn't go for the second hit, down one, two. Down back three a second time. And they mashed and said, I know you're not gonna do something frame tight here. Trojan drops yes. it. Drop it like it's hot, bad girl, yes. Oh my goodness. That was such a crazy turnaround of momentum. That first <laughs> game was heavy. There you go, the two ugly eSports squad right there. You got Kiki X Baby and Sir Gerald French, the homies. And Inconsiderate Raccoon is now in loser's side. I would say what, what I got to say, what was the determining factor here for me is that the style that Trojan was playing of layering offense and pokes was different than the other people that Raccoon was able to get over. So Raccoon's able to poke, back up, poke, back up, then bait you into something. But the way Trojan was pressuring meant that Raccoon was never out. Raccoon could never get away from the pokes. Like we were saying, those cancels into do slide, we would do over and mm. over and over again because they would touch. They would at least touch and put you back in that situation where you're wondering what comes next. Never able to get out. Never able to get away and get some time, get some air. Yeah, whenever a low parry would happen, that was like the major things that Raccoon would get in those first rounds. Like, he was like, I know your timing on your lows, but then Trojan really started mixing those lows up. Never stopped doing the lows, but just kept mixing those timings up. And they were the same two or three lows. Down three, the slide maneuver, down one, two every now and then, and then forward four when it counted, when they needed it. We punish here to get some frames. No, that was the other one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> those those very scary situations where Lily has a couple of those great strings where there's a one hit, a two hit, and a three hit, and you never know if they're going to stop right there because the first one's punishable and the second one ain't. Yeah, and I think that lack of a break in that last round w told the story of, the, of sort of a mental break there. Okay, so I got to ask you. Out of all the sets that we've seen so far today, what has been your favorite? That last one. That last one was my favorite because we took a player that we'd seen be very definitive against another and have them really broken down. And it speaks to difference of style, difference of approach. It's not like that player had it from the beginning, right? We saw Iskisir Raccoon win the first game. A smart betting man may have even said they would take it all the way. And yet, Lily comes back two games in a row after that because of adaptation and saying, okay, well then I'll try this. And then that worked, and now I'm going to tune a little, and now it's really working, and now you don't know what to do. Yeah. So I love it when a player can, can come back on that. It, that was not guaranteed by any means. That was not something where you go, that's no big deal. It actually was a big deal. That was an incredible adaptation, and I really love seeing that. That was it, an Trojan exact counterplay. It was what, an exact yeah. counterplay yeah. of Raccoon style because the things that he was doing from versus other players, he just wasn't getting any traction at all. And that was so great.